This delightful dish brings together two great sauces, one a basil and a parsley pesto and the other a fresh tomato sauce. Like, subscribe and click the bell. I'm Mika, ready? Snip the basil leaves into a bowl of ice water. Swish them around to cool and clean. Dry them between paper towels. This process returns oxidation, yielding a lovely green pesto. Whether you are using a mortar or a four cup processor as I do here, Add a half cup extra virgin olive oil, one small sliced garlic pulp, and half cup pine nuts to the bowl of a small food processor. You will use a pulsing action during blending. Once you have a smooth emulsion, my mini four cup processor has multiple blades, so the blending goes quickly. Take care not to over process, as it can change both the flavor and the color. Add the one cup lightly packed basil and the parsley leaves. Pulse three or four times. Add the half cup Parmigiano cheese and some oil. Pulse. Push the sides down if necessary. And season with salt and pepper. Add a bit more oil if it is too thick. Pulse one last time. In a saucepan over medium heat, add 5 tablespoons extra virgin olive oil. When hot, add 2 shriveled cloves of garlic and sauté 20 seconds. Add the peeled and seeded Roma tomatoes with their juices. Lower feed and cook for 15 minutes, stirring occasionally. Tear the 10 basil leaves into the sauce. Stir and season with salt and pepper. Oh, it is late summer, and my window is open to let the breeze blow through the kitchen. So, you can hear our very loud Midwestern cicadas singing in the background. I hope it is not too noisy. Bring salted water to a boil in a three-quart pan. Add one pound of torofia, traditional if you can find it, gemelli or penne legate pasta. Cook according to package instructions. I am using the Checo gemelli, 12 minutes to al dente. Drain the pasta. In a non-reactive large bowl, immediately add the drained pasta. Pour in the tomatoes and the pesto. Mix thoroughly. The moment we've been waiting for. Serve on a favorite plate that brings out the beautiful colors of this dish. You can top with some additional fresh grated parmigiano or some cracked pepper. But I like just that it was prepared. Please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching my video.